Okay, so first things first, go to Preferences, Gizmo, and select Local Coordinate. This is just going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to moving the pattern pieces around in the 3D workspace. Then go to File, Open Project, and if you check the link in the description in the top comment, I provided a link to this project file, so it's Project File Female. Click on Open, click on OK, and we can get started. So now all you want to do is hold your left mouse button down over here and select rectangle. Left click. When this pops up for the width, I'm going to put this on 215. And for the height, I'm going to put that on 315. Now, your measurements don't need to be exactly the same, but I'm just using this for the tutorial. So essentially, the longer this fabric is, the more folds it's going to generate. And the wider it is, the bigger the neck gaiter is going to be. So now I'm just going to select fabric and I'm going to make this a darker color. And I'm also going to make sure this is on thin textured surface. So you'll see with this pattern, one side is darker than the other. And this is your normal. So this should always be facing the character. Now over here, I'm just going to go back to my 2D window. Make sure I've got transform pattern selected. Select this pattern, right click and go to symmetric pattern with sewing. And then left click to paste that. Now in my 2D workspace, I'm going to position this. So I'll select this piece, rotate it. And you just want to position this next to the character's face. So like that and take the other piece and position it like that. Now you can see these dark regions are facing towards my character's face. And if you do have a dark region on the outside, you can just right click and go to flip normal. So now to sew this together is super easy. We essentially just go into segment sewing and sewing this piece onto this piece and this piece onto this piece. So we're gonna leave the top and the bottom open so this can drape over the character's head. Now press spacebar and now <laughs> this looks really ridiculous, but just help it down. Uh, that's all you have to do just to position it correctly and now you'll still see uh, part of the character is poking through and that's because of the particle distance so if I select these pattern pieces both of them select one then hold on shift to select the other one and then uh, reduce my particle distance to 10 that should solve that issue immediately now you just want to position this on the character's nose you know, pull it under the ear a little bit and we've already got a neck gaiter. So incredibly easy garment to create. And this is exactly how they sew them in reality as well. It's just two pieces of fabric, two rectangles that are sewed together and you can drape that over the face. Now it's just a matter of positioning this and I'll show you how to prevent this garment from also falling off the nose. So if you wanted to prevent this from constantly falling off the character's nose, you can use a feature over here called Pin Box. So select that and just click and drag to place some pins on this region. So now wherever these pins are placed, it's basically going to ensure that this doesn't fall off the character's face. I can also right click and I can delete all of those pins to remove them. So now while I'm simulating this, you can see even if I pull this down, this region stays in place. And it's just a great way to also style the neck gaiter uh, in a very particular way. So now that won't fall off the character's nose. So if you want more wrinkles and folds on here, just select these patterns, hold on shift, and double click on this middle dot. So all of these dots turn orange, so you're doing a uniform scale. Now if I just drag down like this, you can see it's doing it for both sides. So if I make this longer, there's obviously gonna be more fabric over here, which means that once I start pulling this down, there's just going to be a lot more you know, fabric on our neck gaiter. Now this neck gaiter is constantly trying to, you know, prevent my character from seeing anything <laughs> because it keeps going over the eyes. But you can see it's really easy to fix. You just, you need to help the fabric down. So now with the pa with the, uh, the pattern being a little bit longer, you can see there's more, there's more wrinkles and folds on here. And then if you want this to be wider, so it's not, you know, completely form fitting on the face, you would select these patterns and just make it wider and do the uniform scale. You can make it a bit wider. You can see exactly how it's affecting that. So just an easy way that you can adjust the fit and the size of this neck gaiter. Very, very easy to do. And I'm just going to undo all of that and get it back here. So now you can still modify this a little bit further. Let's say you wanted some additional detail just on this edge over here of the, the pattern. So I can go to my edit pattern, select this line right click and go to offset as internal line and I'll do this by a value of 10. So now I'm creating this like strip around the top of the pattern and to make sure you can see your internal lines make sure that is enabled. 
All right, so select that internal line. And since I've got symmetric pattern with sewing, it'll automatically select the other one as well. Right click and go to cut and sew. So it cuts this piece off and then it sews it back on. Now I'm going to select my entire pattern piece and also add some thickness on here. So a value of two, and I'm gonna change this to thick textured surface. So now I've just got some additional detailing over here on the neck data. So now you could have this piece at the top to be a completely different color as well. Now remember what I said about this falling off the nose, you just get it into position and then you pin it. So get, get this darn thing into position <laughs> and then just pin it quickly. And then if I wanted to just copy this fabric and these pieces over here, I can select fabric one copy, select that fabric one copy and I can make this a different color. So it's just, you know, detailing this a, f a little bit further and making it look, look really cool with this offset of different colors. So you can see the neck gator is super easy to do. Yeah, there we go. And I would also recommend, you know, selecting everything and definitely bringing that down to a value, a particle distance of five. So that's gonna give you better quality. If you can even go all the way down to three, this is just gonna help you to see the fabrics and folds a lot better on your character as well. So you can see that especially over here and it also generates some new folds uh, on your garment. So I'd also recommend just going to your fabric and playing around with these different presets. If you want a preset that generates a lot of detail and folds, you can use a preset over here called Nylon Featherweight. It's my go-to uh, for stuff like this. If you download the project file, I actually included this as a preset, but it comes pre-installed with MD. Uh, so you could just load this into the program with this folder, but it's called Nylon Featherweight. Yeah, there we go. Now you can style this however you want. Maybe you don't want it over the nose. You want this to be hanging, you know, on your character's neck. And you have you have the the possibilities and options to do that because we've got this awesome fabric simulation with Marvelous Designer. So now I went ahead, I select that nylon featherweight because it's definitely one of my favorite fabric presets. And just another tip, if you feel like maybe some of these folds are just way too big, an easier way to make, you know, smaller, tighter folds on here is to actually taper the bottom of this pattern. So if I go to the edit pattern, select these points, do that for the, well, automatically do it for the back as well, and just move this in. You'll see when I'm creating a taper over here, and it's creating a taper in this region of the garment. By the way, if I click on my garment, you can see it puts a blue dot over here. So I can see exactly where this region is on my pattern. So I know exactly where I need to taper this as well. So by tapering this, it's going to make it a bit tighter here, but the folds it's gonna generate are gonna be a lot smaller. And maybe that's a style that you're going for. I also put my particle distance on five, but just pay attention to how it looks right now. So you can see I created a taper but look at these folds, they just look tighter and smaller as well. All right, so it depends on how you really wanna style this neck gaiter. It's completely up to you. You have creative freedom. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to create. So just remember if you do the inverse of what I just show, showed you, so if you pull these points out instead, it's gonna make it wider at the bottom. And if you make the fabric shorter, uh, you're also gonna reduce the amount of big folds that are generated. So you can get this style of neck gaiter where it's angled like this and not really tapering, you know, being a little bit more form fitting around the chin. You've got more loose hanging fabric. So play around with the pattern. Once it's been designed, you know, you can do as many iterations as you want to create a neck gaiter that you think looks aesthetically pleasing. And I just wanted to mention, if you guys are looking for some fabric materials, that's exactly how I textured this neck gaiter. I've created 56 fabric materials. They are at 4K resolution, completely tileable. So there's a nice variety over here for you guys to use. So just search for Travis Davids and my Gumroad page or check the link in the description. I also have some tileable patterns, stuff like a fabric knit that you can instantly apply onto your garments to get that knitted pattern. So it's a great way to support me as an artist and a great way to support the channel as well. So that's the end of the tutorial. Now don't be afraid to go ahead and actually, you know, play around with the thickness. You can see I put this on one, but the strap at the top is on a value of two. So it creates this nice offset with the thickness 
on our neck gaiter as well so you can see it's really easy to do let me know what you guys think down in the description below and as always i truly appreciate the support on this channel you guys are super awesome stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye